So now we're going to talk a little bit about the exterior cameras in a vehicle, which is again part of the safety shield systems. So Jake, what can you tell us about exterior cameras? Well, once again, trim level is a big driver on how many cameras do you actually have. So the lower trim levels will have the rear view monitor only, the reverse camera. Higher trim levels will have that around view monitor or multiple cameras around the vehicle. Which is again, why it's important for us to use an OEM factory scan tool, because it will know based on the build data. Well, certainly, you're gonna have additional steps with the, the around view monitor, including a target on the floor. This is where your X and Y axis, determining the position of the camera, what each camera is seeing, and you make those changes with console. Great, let's talk about exterior cameras. Rear view monitor or RVM systems use a single wide angle camera at the back of the vehicle to display a rear camera view on the AV monitor. The around view monitor or AVM systems add three additional wide angle cameras to produce a 360 degree view on the center display. Keep in mind that if a vehicle owner ever brings a vehicle in for a drop off or repair or brings it back for after the fact and states that their camera is blurry, that could be an indicator that the camera is not aligned properly. Would you agree, Jake? Yeah, I would also say that the position of the camera plays a role as well. So you could have it skewed one way or another and it looks grainy or it looks like it's out of, it's out of position. Out of focus? It's out of focus. So what you want to do is go into your console and you're doing the bird's eye fine tuning to determine the position of the cameras. Now, let's continue on talking about the around view monitor with moving object detection, often referred to as MOD. The AVM system provides the driver with visual details of the area surrounding all corners of the vehicle, while the MOD, moving object detection system, provides audible warnings when it detects moving objects within the vicinity of the vehicle exterior. The AVM control unit receives camera images from the four exterior cameras and uses image processing to create different camera views on the display screen and to identify moving objects in the camera images. The camera button can be used to select from the different camera view combinations. Again, we kind of call this bird's eye view, right Jake? Yeah, and one of the things that's really nice about it, just from an owner's perspective, is that I was actually pulling up to the coffee shop the other day, I hit the camera button to make sure I didn't hit the cone in front of the truck, and it was a piece of paper taped to the cone, and the paper was moving in the wind, and the MOD detected it. It said there's something moving in the picture and it's alerting me to it to make sure I don't hit it. So again, we're working on very precise equipment here yep. that requires very specific calibration process. Another thing is that the Pro 4X and the Titan is actually the off, is actually the off-road version of the Titan. So you have a trail type camera in the front. You can also look at the right side of the vehicle only if you like. So the camera button actually allows you to s select multiple views beyond just the 360. Great. So Jake, what do we have here? A 2021 Nissan Rogue. Man, what is this? Nissan continues to evolve their lineup and the 2021 Rogue is no exception. It's gonna have the central gateway on board just like the new Sentra does, but it's also gonna introduce a two radar system in the front. We're hoping to have this vehicle as part of training here very soon. AVM operation. With the engine on, camera views will be displayed whenever the gear selector is moved to reverse. Then the selected rear view will be displayed. Alternatively, the camera button can be used to display the around view monitor. Most systems include split screen views and single wide angle views that can be changed using the change view on screen button. The monitor will also display camera zone lines, distance guidelines, and predictive course lines if the steering wheel is turned. Now, Jake, my experience has been, when we've been doing some of these calibrations, hands-on, you and I, myself, this is actually a really important thing to know in the way you move or adjust your camera, correct? Yeah, so it's important to understand when you're working with consumers that the AVM is only gonna turn on by itself if you put it in reverse. If you're pulling into a parking spot or you're trying to make sure you're not hitting, you're trying to use the side cameras or front camera, you physically have to hit the camera button on the dashboard to make it come on. So when you're working with consumers, make sure they understand how the system actually operates. Which again, that's why the owner's manual is a great resource in Tech Info. Mod operation. When the mod system is activated, a blue mod icon appears on the display. Keep in mind, mod stands for moving object detection. When the mod system is not active, the mod icon turns gray. And then the mod system is also turned on by default. To set mod so it remains off at all times, 
mod must be turned off using the camera settings menu. Again, as a reminder, both Tech Info and the Owner's Manual are a great resource for this feature. If the mod system detects a moving object around the vehicle, a yellow frame is displayed on the view where the object is detected, and a single audible warning is emitted. The yellow frame remains as long as the moving object is present. When the shift selector is in the P for park or N for neutral position, and the vehicle is stationary, the mod system detects moving objects in the bird's eye view. The mod system will not operate if the outside mirror is moving or if either front door is open. Jake, any thoughts on this? Well, this is used to detect all those phantom shopping carts that tend to hit vehicles in a parking spot. And I know collision repairs, you, you've had to deal with at least one shopping cart in your career. And so the, the mod operation helps alert the driver that something is moving and where is it moving. And so it's, it's a really nice feature to have. When the shift selector is in the D position for drive and vehicle speed is below five miles per hour, the mod system detects moving objects in the front view or front wide view. When the shift selector is in the R or reverse position and the vehicle speed is below five miles per hour, the mod system detects moving objects in the rear view or rear wide view. The mod system will not operate if the lift gate is open. Your instructor now will have you do a hands-on exercise on your dedicated vehicle in regards to the around view monitor. Jake, anything that they need to know about this? Well, it's critical to look at your X and Y axis in the around view monitor. So these are the values that you want to check within the scan tool prior to doing the calibration. Those of you that are using Aztec, make sure you ask us to do that for you and report the values. If that vehicle is sitting at a very high specification, like you know, the y-axis is at 32 and it should be around plus or minus one. Those are the kinds of things that you want to look for when assessing around the monitor.